Hello my friends and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Some developments in the southern part of Ukraine where it seems like the fighting uh, increased and uh, I got an article here from uh, Ukrainska Pravda and see what these guys are saying about it. That's a little update from today, uh, November 5th, 2022. Ukrainian armed forces carry out 170 firing missions in southern Ukraine. Ukraine's defense forces have carried out nearly 170 firing missions in southern Ukraine over the course of the past 24 hours, destroying Russian military equipment and killing Russian soldiers. No civilians were harmed. Operational Command South uh, reported this, and I'm quoting them. The occupiers are continuing to detonate or shell all vessels that could be used to cross the Dnipro River in Kherson Oblast, this inflicting environmental damage on, thus inflicting environmental damage on the region. When you guys destroyed their barges and their uh, boats and the bridge, there was not a uh, um, environmental uh, um, whatever damage. More than 50 vessels they had blown up or now are now leaking fuel directly into various bodies of water, damaging the ecosystem. <laughs> this guy is so political. They tried to rile up a certain kind of segment of the society. <gasps> Environment, global warming, we gotta intervene. Well, why do you, it's only the Russians who do these things somehow. The other ones, I don't know, their rockets just when they come over and it's a boat, it's a, the Ukrainians, their missiles, they realize it's a, uh, really? And I'm an idiot to uh, just uh, bite that like a, l a hungry fish on a stupid bait. No, we're not that way, are we? Uh, on the afternoon of uh, f uh, 4th of November, Russian forces deployed a Lancet 3 UAV to attack the positions of Ukrainian forces in the Borislav district. The enemy forces are deploying UAVs to conduct aerial reconnaissance in an attempt to establish the composition or, and movements of our units. The Russians are also continuing to attack the Bereznehuvate Romada in Mykolaiv Oblast, especially the areas located along the line of contact. On Friday, 4th of November, they launched naval-based caliber cruise missiles on the Romada village of several so they did, finally, they launched uh, caliber cruise missiles from uh, boats, from ships. They don't uh, stay over there just to look uh, at the beautiful sunset, or actually sunrise. Unscriptive unit, they tell us what a Romada is. Though no missile carriers were on standby in the Black Sea at the time, the Russian deployed a frigate, frigate, frigate which was used to launch the missiles. It returned to the base immediately after the launch. So it was like a weasel come out, pss, launch, whoo, quickly, hide. <clears throat> Both sea launch missiles have been brought down by Ukrainian air defense forces. 100% success. Beautiful. I'm waiting when they're going to have 300% success. That is, uh, Russians send one and is hit by three. Boom. In the same time. Russian forces additionally deployed assault aircraft and a K-52 or KA-52 attack heli helicopter to carry out several attacks on the positions of the Ukrainian armed forces throughout the day. Well, I expected this article to tell me about the Ukrainian armed forces carry out 170 firing missions in southern Ukraine. And all I'm hearing so far is the Russianing or the Russianing, the Russians attacking these guys. Ukraine rocket forces and artillery finally carried out around 170 firing um, missions on November 4th, striking the positions of Russian forces as, and clusters of Russian personnel, weapons and equipment. <clears throat> Russia has lost 32 soldiers, four anti-aircraft missiles systems and artillery systems, three tanks, three aircraft, three vehicles and three ammunition storage points in the Barislav and Kherson district. Wow, what's all that three? We're gonna talk about Trinity here? turning it religious? Maybe that's a uh, sign. 
Seven Russian ships and boats are currently maneuvering along the southwestern coast of Crimea, undertaking tasks in the waters of the Black Sea. There are no naval cruise missile carriers on duty. And I'm quoting, however, there is still a threat of missile attacks, including naval based missile attacks. Drone attacks are also en entirely likely. Wow, so uh, uh, it doesn't seem like you are doing much. Uh, you, you say you're 150, right? Or is that what it was? 170, 170 firing missions. But it seems like the only ones that are really doing something over there are the Russians, not you guys. So what's up with that? Or you don't want to disclose your... Uh, I mean, they said here, right? They said the 3333444 thing. Um, yeah, 30, 32 soldiers, four anti-aircraft missiles, three tanks, three aircraft, three vehicles, three ammunition storages. So they did with all those uh, uh, 170 attacks. That's in the south. Why am I uh, uh, a little bit, uh, I don't want to say happy, but uh, I'm... I'm eager to see how the Russians are using their Black Sea fleet because they have it over there. They're the only ones. The Ukrainians do not have a fleet. They have boats delivered by the Americans. I don't know if they're delivered or not. Um, I, they said they're going to deliver about 80. But those seem to be for uh, maneuvers around the coast and the Dnieper River, not for the high seas, let's put it this. Uh, so I'm curious since this, uh, the Russians have supremacy of the uh, Black Sea, obviously, they're controlling it. Uh, what, how are they going to use them? Uh, how are they going to use the, the, the carriers, the caliber cruise, uh, caliber cruise missiles and carriers and all that? How are they going to use them? And all I saw so far is just bam, bam, bam a few rockets and you would say, what, what else do you expect, Emil? I don't know. I was, at one point, very small point uh, in time, I was hoping uh, that uh, they will use that to create a barrage of bombardments for a possible, uh, I don't know, landing for Odessa, even though I never thought that the Russians will uh, or ever planned to take Odessa. I had some conversations with some uh, uh, friends and uh, some of them thought that, oh no, Odessa will be uh, stormed. And they, uh, some of them uh, gave me the argument, oh, you remember what happened on, um, in 2014 when it was that uh, illegal coup in uh, Kiev, there were some, uh, a lot of uh, Russian residents how do you want to call them, Russian population in Odessa, they were burned by certain kind of protesters with the help of some certain kind of uh, services, if you're familiar with that, in Odessa. Therefore, the point was, they will come over there because they have a big population, big pro proportion of the population in the area is Russian. Well, it is Russian, there's many others over there in, as well. So I don't know, and by the way, Odessa is kind of far from where the front is right now. And since Ukraine, uh, since uh, Russia is struggling to do anything beyond the Dnieper River, I'm talking about westward towards Europe, um, and that's a long way, you know, they, they strike Mykolaiv, okay, I got that one, but then other than that, what do they do? They, do they go to, uh, to Odessa? I see no indication that they will advance that way. They barely keep the front over there from going westward. Uh, what am I talking about? Westward it was towards Europe, eastward is toward uh, uh, the Russian uh, Federation. So no indication the Russians will go westward toward um, Odessa, but no indication that, you know, uh, the other guys are going to go to towards Crimea, eastward. So they have, the Russians have to defend Crimea with uh, if Crimea falls, that's going to be, I don't know, pff, I don't know how to call it. It's a rape right there. <laughs> I know you don't want to go through that. So um, they will can't lose anything else they, they, they uh, acquired but uh, Crimea. Crimea is never going to be given up. Uh, Crimea is going to be a no-no. Anyway, I don't know about Odessa, but this happening in the south. I don't know what the, web, the, the ships are doing over there, uh, hitting targets from here and there. And... Uh, they were attacked by drones in Sevastopol, in the harbor. What is that? Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth, and be just.